I just wanted to read one thing. I follow someone that used to work at the Capitol on Twitter, uh -huh. and he says, I used to work at the Capitol because this story just really blew my mind. He said, I used to work at the Capitol, and this story is very alarming because those buttons are typically added with Velcro and will go off if they're removed. He said, I took it uh, under my desk one time just to straighten it, and he said, USCP were there in minutes. So he said, there's wow. no way that USCP didn't know that they were gone. Because, I mean, that, that story, which I had to do some digging because it just really blew me away how mm. that was possible. Yeah. yeah, I was checking up on it too, you know, and I was reading the story about Ayanna Presley and her staff. Um, they said <laughs> that they were escorted to various secure locations. Um, they tried to remain calm and vigilant, uh, not only because of the masses, you know, the, the rioters, but also because of the officers that they did not know or trust. Um, and another uh, report that's coming out is that one of the people that's been arrested for, um, you know, uh, storming the Capitol had um, Ted Cruz's two phone numbers from Ted Cruz's office found in his office mm. or wow. found in his um, vehicle. So it's yes. almost yeah. like it's really starting to look for sure. Very much like a conspiracy. Yeah. yeah. And you think about what's going on the inside. There was even a video that has surfaced. I don't know if we still have that, but if we can show that or not, where a lady was on a bullhorn, like pretty mm. much giving out instructions right. of where you can go, like guiding huh. you to certain places inside the Capitol. Mm. So if you think about that, like you're showing the video right now. If yes. You look at it. Wow. They yeah. had a map. I love it. Shout out to our producers pulling it up right on time. Yeah. Though, right, right, right on time. Nice. Just giving it. out instructions <laughs> what to do. Like, I need to find out who that is and who she's connected to because obviously there's some mm. connection from the inside with mm. that. This is awful. Yeah. All right. Well, as more video footage surfaces from the violent insurrection that happened at the Capitol on January 6th, one, af one black officer is being hailed as a hero for risking his life to keep lawmakers in the Senate chamber safe, according to Huffington Post. You may remember us talking about this earlier this week. In a now viral video, Officer Eugene Goodman is seen leading an angry mob away from the doors of the chamber when he realizes they are unguarded and lawmakers are still inside debating the Electoral College votes. To date, the video has received over 10 million views with lawmakers and citizens from various backgrounds saying Goodman should be awarded the Public Safety Medal of Valor and the Medal of Honor for his bravery. According to CBS affiliate WUSA 9, Goodman is an Army vet who spent time in Iraq. He has not commented publicly on the incident and there are concerns his life is still under threat for his actions. A petition to award Goodman the Medal of Honor has nearly 11,000 signatures at the time of publication. Some have said it should be an immediate action by mm -hmm. President and elect Joe Biden once he is sworn in. I think that we should put on the Fox Soul um, Instagram page and Facebook page and all the pages mm -hmm. um, where people can um, add their names to the petition uh, for him to get this award. Um, mm -hmm. People have taken to dissecting that video, including NYPD detective, and um, that video has over 500,000 views. And he said that uh, Eugene uh, had displayed incredible situational, uh, situational awareness and seemingly leading the rioters in the direction where he knew that he was going to encounter other um, policemen to, you know, help him, uh, you know, and, and assist him. Yeah. Mm. It was a great was move it? on his part. Very brave of him. If you think about it, what I noticed on his hip was a gun. I mm -hmm. think we yeah. all saw mm -hmm. that, right? In other cases, if it was turned around, Black Lives Matter coming into that building like that, I feel like that gun would have been first. drawn. Mm -hmm. I know it would have. Yeah. Right? That's my opinion. You may agree mm -hmm. with me. You may not. But mm -hmm. that's how I feel. And based on what we saw in the past, that's probably what we would have gotten. Yeah. So he's so brave to do what he did with his instincts. Yeah. And uh, I applaud him for that. And for him to be getting death threats because of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. It'll be interesting to see how he's taken care of after this. Because I don't know if you all remember the man, the security guard, who alerted the police basically to a break-in at the Watergate mm -hmm. complex was mm -hmm. a black man named mm -hmm. Frank Wills, mm -hmm. who ended up after that, I think he got like a very very small raise, didn't get promoted. He, he he died, you know, years later without a job, broke, you know, battling depression, and he just wasn't taken care of or truly mm. supported after that. And so I think people are specifically yeah. looking at this situation, hoping that we don't see a repeat. I yeah, agree. exactly. Yeah. No, go ahead. Um, what you were saying about how he's going to be taken care of, I actually want to add, his friend actually did an interview. <laughs> um, a friend of his said that he would do the same thing over again if he had to. He says that um, it, he's, he's not looking for any accolades. So like how some People would be like, you know, you know, I'm a hero. I'm a hero. He said he's not yeah. looking for any accolades and get he's this doing guy. His job. Yeah, he also said that um, the attention that he's getting is actually making him feel un 
and easy. So, you know, while we're telling him that he's a hero, he's probably at home right now. Like, look, guys, I would totally do this. Like you said, Romeo, I'm just doing my job. And he said that all of this, like, newfound fame for him, he said it's actually not really enjoying it as much as we would think that he is. Well, prior to being, you know, a Capitol Hill officer, uh, he was with the 18th Airborne Corps. And his actions, his corps basically is re reported as saying he's rightfully being hailed a hero. He was a hero long before Wednesday. So, you know, this is mm -hmm. part and parcel with the man that they knew him to be. Yeah. And at the end of the day, like I said, a lot of the, the I'll call it fame. Some people call that because of this. He doesn't want that. And then yeah. I'm sure a lot of us not positive. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's getting those I mean, threats, threats. That's very uneasy, right? That, right? Yeah. If you have a family. So Can't prayers go up that he continues to be safe. Two U.S. Capitol Police officers were suspended and at least 10 more under investigation for their behavior during last week's assault on the Capitol. And federal agents will look at whether current and former law enforcement officers played a role in the riot. One of the Capitol Police officers took a selfie with someone who was part of the mob that overtook the Capitol. And the other wore a Make America Great Again hat and started directing people around the building, according to Rep. Tim Ryan, an Ohio Democrat. He didn't disclose how many other officers were under investigation, but confirmed it was between 10 and 15. And didn't say what they were being scrutinized for, except that it was for their behavior during the riot. Yeah, again, we talk about what went on that day it has changed our lives forever. Something we thought we would have never seen in our lifetime, right? And as we prepare for the inauguration, we can only hope that they keep it safe. We see how they're setting up for that right now. Mm -hmm. But I just, it just upsets me that because of Donald Trump's reactions, we have to call all of our guards into the state and every state, for that matter, yeah. to protect the capital of each state. Like, yeah. what <sighs> it makes me so upset that this has to happen like this. And on top of that, I will say this, right? Once mm -hmm. we get past inauguration, you know, when they talk about the impeachment and moving forward with that, we can only hope that we can start seeing better days because that's all we want. That's yeah, yeah. you know, it's like just so much of this. Every day we get new news and new reports about who didn't do the right thing or who got caught. And, you know, I was watching the developments of the two off-duty officers. I don't, I don't know if you all seen it. Virginia, mm -hmm. off-duty police officers, they've been arrested for participating in this. And they yes. both completely changed their tune now, you know, saying, you know, I shouldn't have been there. Yeah. But uh, they were bragging about this afterwards. And these are people who are supposed to protect all of us they mm. you know this is their duty this is what they sign up for they agree to mm. and the prosecutor said the federal prosecutor wanted them to have what, what is it called um like electronic monitoring mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the judge decided they didn't need that just no yeah. just promise not to have guns in your home wow. well to add on to that brooke uh, that's a great point that you uh make um there's an interview that i was reading earlier that says at least 50 elected officials and other people in public sectors are facing internal inquiries or yeah, investigations so it's like you know we're thinking that it's a just you know a few people that few people here and there it's like so many people are facing internal in investigations mm -hmm. and pending suspensions temporary suspensions are happening as a result of not doing your job what you were supposed to do and, and breaking the law 50 like yeah. just that that is and that's probably a rough number even you right, know like yeah. i'm sure it's probably so many people you know so many people more that want to protect their job that when it comes down to like they're be being questioned are gonna start you know rattling off some more names too that were involved yeah. oh my goodness all right yesterday on foxo's black report here we talked about how some republican lawmakers have been caught bypassing the newly installed metal detectors to enter the house chamber well now this could cost them thousands speaker nancy pelosi says she's going to start fining lawmakers if they refuse to go through the metal detectors. Pelosi says the House will adopt new rules when it returns to session January 21st. The new rules will mandate stiff fines for bypassing security, $5,000 for the first offense and 10,000 for the second. And these fines are gonna be deducted right from the lawmaker's salaries. In a statement, excuse me, Pelosi wrote, it is tragic that this step is necessary, but the chamber of the people's house must and will be safe. Again, the incoming fines for refusing to comply with new security measures come after numerous House Republicans berated Capitol Police officers on Tuesday and Wednesday for asking them to go through the metal detectors. We talked about this yesterday, just that part, because it was so frustrating for me to watch because these metal detectors are there to protect all of them. But I want to know yeah. what you guys think about this. Some of the Republicans that reporters have pointed out as the ones that refuse to use the metal detectors, these are the same lawmakers who voted to force schools to use metal detectors mm -hmm. as a deterrent to wow. school shootings. You remember the Republican-led Stop School Violence Act? It was back in 2018. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's okay for schools. That's what you choose to do to protect school children when you know parents are saying, no, 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 you need to do something about the guns. They're saying, no, metal detectors are okay. Sh kids should deal with this every day. Hmm. But as lawmakers, 
they're like, but no. do you know what that does to kids that have to go to school like that? You're already setting them up, some say, for failure because this is my life mm -hmm. every day. And think about it. This is for you to go to work for your safety. Mm -hmm. When you go to the airport to fly, take your vacations or whatever you want to do, you go through a metal detector. You don't have a problem with that then. But for your safety, to me, that just shows once again where their head is and where their attitude is and how they feel about this situation and how apparently they're not taking it serious because they're not on the right side. Brooke, I am so for metal detectors. I am okay with metal detectors. Wherever I need to go, grocery store, it's fine. I love them, okay? <laughs> Listen, I have no problem. Honestly, I think I'm cool with it, too. Listen, I have no problem with metal detectors, but I wanted to read a couple of tweets from um, Rep Representative Lauren Boebert. For, she's from Colorado. Oh, she's yes. actually one of the ones that don't that wants to uh, walk around the Capitol Hill building with a gun. So she says, I am legally permitted to carry my firearm in Washington, D.C. and within the Capitol complex. She says, metal detectors outside of the House would, only ha would not have stopped the violence that we saw last week. She says, it's just another political stunt by Speaker Nancy. Nancy Pelosi, she added, the fact is my concealed carry permit was issued by the District of Columbia Metropolitan Police. So she's one of those people that feels like I should be able to walk around with my whatever gun that she has in and around the Capitol <laughs> City building. And I feel kind of uneasy about that because we don't know who was on the inside of this. We still don't know. So like, exactly. you could have been, you could have, not, yeah. not conspiracize if that's uh -huh. a word here. I think, did I make that a conspiracy? But I like no? it. I'm going you know, with you, it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, yeah. not, to, not to be conspiracy theories here that she was the one, but it's kind of like those people that want to walk around mm -hmm. having a gun in the Capitol building, we don't know. We don't know who, you know, who did what here. So I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, and she's also blatantly lying to her constituents because no, she's not legally allowed to carry a firearm in the Capitol building. Mm -hmm. It is blatantly very clearly illegal. Also, you know, what if you're one of the lawmakers that's uncomfortable by this? We have history. Mm -hmm. Where we ever we're here in California, we know the history of what happened with Harvey Milk. Mm -hmm. There's a, a council member in New York. I'm I'm blanking on his name. Maybe one of our soulmates can help me. But also died because someone shot him after both of them bypassed security. Mm. Yeah. Both of them were able to. It, it's just, it's there's scary. history that says this is a bad idea. Some of that history was just as recent as last week. Yeah, I mean, they were true. saying that some Republicans literally like walk around, you know, just like literally just blatantly like walk around the metal detector. Like I can't, I can't even like this, um, Lauren, she said, they said that she had something, her, um, her metal detector went off and she literally told them whatever she said and they just let her go. Like she they wouldn't let them search the bag. They she wouldn't let her, standoff. exactly. And she still just, and she still went through though. Like we don't even know, we still to this day probably don't know what she had in her bag. It's crazy. Look, if you're doing that and you want to carry a gun, to me, you're, you're waving this flag saying, yeah, I'm part of this. What happened mm, on January listen. the 6th, I'm part That's of it. That's deep, Romeo. That's what you're telling me. I want to hear what and Melissa has to say you. because she's making the face yes. where I can tell <laughs> that I can, or I can tell. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, okay, I can tell. I'm like, I so Melissa's mates. being a little too Look quiet. This I, okay, this is, okay, because sometimes we can see what you can't see <laughs> and we're here for you because I know it's the wheels are turning. I'm just sitting here thinking two things. Number one, the photo that we pulled up of Nancy Pelosi, mm. she looks like she's constantly having to corral sixth graders. Mm. That's what her face looks like. And secondly, hypocrisy and audacity must be on a mm. sale rack somewhere Speaker. because that just seems to be the motto and the mantra of the Republican Party. I, mean, I If I was a Republican right now with any kind of like system of value or values or, you know, moral code, you know, the compass that points anywhere due north or mm -hmm. close to it, mm -hmm. I would be ashamed of, you know, the people that occupy my party right now. Like, I wouldn't know what to say. I would, I would just be ashamed, so. And you have to think about what Donald yeah. Trump has done for the Republican Party. People thought, this is the new move. This is the wave. You're seeing what's happening now, how it's crumbling down. That's why they're acting this way. So if you want to stand and be your own man or woman on the Republican side and start building your foundation again, this is the time to do it. You're right. You got to be man enough and woman enough to walk away from what's been going on and say, I'm going to start doing what's right and rebuild it. Hey, suggestion, you might want to run with that. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, we're going to take you to our YouTube soulmates. You guys are already in the chat chatting, okay? And we love to see it. So, uh, so be it once as Officer Eugene likes his anonymity, and I completely understand that, and I agree with that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Casey says he's still a hero to me, and I agree. Sharissa uh, Hayes says, hey, Fox Soul. Hey, girl. And then one more <laughs> says, Brooke, I love that color on you. Oh, and you. another YouTube soulmate says that they just shared our uh, YouTube live on Twitter. So make sure you guys are in the chat. Chatting, a lot is going on. On it.